every so often I just think about what I do, okay? I go, really, is that, I mean, like, I sit there and I essentially, I watch matter-antimatter collisions and then search, search, for, search for an extra dimension. I mean, like, and this is second nature to me, but every so often I go, wow, that's what I do, okay? The LC was nice, we could promise that we'd find the Higgs or not. But I'm an exotic person, I search for things that may be there, maybe not, nobody knows. It's more of a, let's look for this and see what happens. There's a risk-reward ratio here. I'm unlikely to find anything, but if I did, um, it would be much more interesting than the Higgs. It would um, revolutionise um, our understanding of physics. So there is a bug, and I thought I'd written the code to reject that. But, um, but no, actually, the code is right, I have a logic flaw. That logically, how I thought it should work is different to how it actually works. Yes. I said a few weeks ago that 2012 would be the year of the Z Prime, we'll finally discover it. But I say that every year. And we're basically on a fishing trip to see if there's something there. And part of the LHC is just built to see what's there. We find the Higgs that's big, but that's confirmation of what we already know. But finding a Z Prime, this will turn physics on its head. I mean, right now, this is the moment of the Higgs, and that's fine. This is what they've been working for for all this time. They've put a lot of hard work into it. And this time last year, between us and the Higgs, we had we had a similar excess, and people thought we were the we were the shot. It turned out to be nothing. Not finding it was a bit on the kind of slightly tough side because um, it was it had been, been so hints for so long, and even as recently as like February, we're like oh yes, we have this. I didn't actually want a Higgs at all, um, mainly because my model was somewhat theoretically incompatible with the Higgs. If we have the standard model and nothing else, and that's it, um, that's not lo not looking so great for my searches. But if we have like a weird Higgs, maybe some Susie thrown in or some other strange anomaly, then likely there's a Z prime lurking around somewhere too. So I just have to find it. Three years down the road, if it doesn't come, then well, um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to find a new topic. Well, we've conclusively not discovered anything. We now know there's nothing in this data set um, that this isn't that Z prime like. It's not even a hint of anything actually. It was just it was quite um, yeah, nothing. I think there's one quote which is new physics is always behind the next decimal place. You, you keep probing by another order of magnitude, you keep finding stuff, and that's certainly been the case in the past. We keep looking deeper. We're really exploring the unknown. We have no idea if we're going to find a new particle. We might finally find Susie, which yeah, I doubt, but, um, uh, but or we might find some Z prime or some heavy resonance nobody's thought of. That would be the start of a new golden era of particle physics. Or there could be nothing and it ends and then that starts a different era of particle physics. I got to get the 14 TV data because that's what we've been looking for for all these years and it would bug me so much if I moved on to something else now and we found it at 14 TV straight away. I mean, it would drive me nuts, okay? So I, ha I have to stay on, okay? Kind of like, um, probably some gambler's fallacy here coming in.